Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mac Merlin. Tonight, we are doing the weekly group by news. So welcome, everyone. I appreciate that so many people have decided to show up so early on the stream. We see Amachi, Kajata, Kirinamo, Three Wonderful Korean Nins, Suri, Caffeinated Typist, Earthy, who else is here? Tataimo, Jaza, Comrade Questions, Tenor Madness, Happy Bot, Barugi, Infinite Nacho, Iwa, and it looks like Barugi subscribed at tier 1. Thank you so much. We subscribed for 12 months in a row. Dude, thank you so much. Also see a dat, dat guy Starsky, AR Maestro, KSJ, Gantz, Neely, Snoopy R6, Big Walruses, Anonymous. Thank you everyone for joining in so early. Also see a Fit Lab and a Crosswind. Thanks guys. Let's get the show on the road. For those of you guys who have first joined in, um, this is this is a weekly stream every Sunday 7 30 p.m. PDT. I talk about group buys that are happening in our hobby. We don't really talk about interest checks, but we do talk about in stock somewhere in the middle there. So this particular episode covers everything that's occurring from tonight, December 4th, all the way till Saturday, December 11th. There we go. The first item that is ending this week. There we go. This one is GMK Tiramisu. Base set, 127 bucks. Pretty much covers most of the common layouts up to full size. Bunch of other kits underneath it, such as novelties. Look at the cute novelties right there. You've also got space bars and a small assortment of dust mats. All, of course, pastry themed, as you can see. You've got light, dark. You've even got a cake one. The cake one's like so adorable. So cute, so cute. Got a cafe one, and of course, artisans. This one, I think this one's my favorite artisan here. Look at that, looks like a tiramisu. Let's see what else. You've also got the cat chef one, and of course, an enter key artisan as well with the set's name on it. Let's take a look at a few renders, if any. Do they have renders? No, they don't have the renders, or maybe I'm just not looking far enough. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's down here. GMK Tiramisu. This one will set you back 127 for the base kit. If you want to actually buy all of the kits, Deathmat, and the Artisans for this key set, you're looking at spending around 500 bucks. And as usual, pretty much anything GMK that's ending, is probably going to deliver to you the customer of Q1 2023, possibly Q4 2022, but I wouldn't count on it. There we go. Look at that. Very cute set, if I may, if, if I may say so myself. Um, there was a episode two weeks ago in which I talked about how there was your chance to get a Owl Labs tiramisu. Um, that was only open for a day, so hopefully some of you who are interested in the set and who also like TKL went for it. Yeah, check it out if you guys want. Um, this one ends tomorrow, December 5th, so not, not too much time. Next up, next set that is ending. What am I talking about? I am talking about Dracula V 2.0. There we go. Let's go through the key set first. So the key set, Dracula, goes for about 115 bucks and covers everything up to full size or most common layouts up to full size. So you guys can see. And then of course you've got a night mode base. You've got the Git core, extensions, Accent mods, um, space bars, and a bunch of other ones here. Yes, this is a key set that has three base kits. Um, each of those base kits are 114 bucks. Um, you've also got a couple dust mats, or actually, let's talk about the artisans first. Come on, artisans. There we go. Three artisans. You've got the box eye, you've got the regular eye, and then you've got the critical error enter key right there. Um, you've also got a couple desk pads going for $17.50 each. I, Er, and Boyd. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these renders again. 
I'm always like looking at the renders. There we go. Do they have renders there? Yes, they do. Here we go. Look at that. So since this is R2, um, some of these are actually photographs, which is a good thing. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Dracula, Dracula is notorious, not just for being a blood, uh, a, a blood sucking vampire, but this is also a key set that was stuck in color matching hell for an eternity. So, you know, now that they've color matched it, hopefully it won't deliver for a, uh, hopefully it will deliver in a suitable time frame. Like right now, it's estimated time of delivery to you, the customer, is actually fairly early. Q4 2022. So yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that that is indeed the date. But as I was saying earlier, anything GMK, just expect Q1 2023. So yeah, if you wanted to buy everything, desk mats, artisans, every kit in this key set, you're looking at spending about $900. Yeah. Expensive GMK set. Oh, expensive GMK set to go all in on. $900 because that's with three base kits at $115 each. So yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure you check it out. You have until the 6th, which is this Tuesday. Here, you know what? I'm going to actually sip on my drink a bit more before it cools down too much. Oh yeah. Q1 2023 is is my guess. <laughs> 900 bucks to go all in. Next up is a key set expiring on the 9th. This is SA Geoma. I remember when I first talked about this, I couldn't figure out what it was. Like, is it Geoma? Yoma? Yomama, right? But people have told me it's supposed to be like geometry, so I guess it's pronounced SA Geoma. Who knows? Who knows? I could still be completely off. But yeah, if you wanted to look at building a base kit, you can start by doing light alphas and light mods. Putting that together puts you at about $144 for the base kit. Yeah, let's go look at this a little bit more. I actually think this is a very good looking set. Unfortunately, it is in my least favorite profile. But yeah. As typical with much with most of the SA sets, they have all these different kits with it. And you also have a couple dust mats. So you have one, two, three, four dust mats, or five, six dust mats at $25 each. And two artisans that you guys can check out. This is gonna be another expensive set to go all in on because you're looking at a grand total of $700. Yeah, $700 and if you're thinking, oh, at least it doesn't deliver as long as GMK, right? You are wrong. It's ETA is Q4 2022, just about GMK timeframes. Yeah, 700 bucks to go all in on if you just wanted to build your own base kit, but 144. Now check it out. You have until the 9th to make your decision. All right, next set is one that was very popular when I first talked about it. And I couldn't give a total price when I talked about it then, but today I can. There we go. Cam Sewington, you have a base kit starting at 79. Look at that. This one's, you know, for, 75, for $79, it's only up to TKL with some very limited layout supported in between. Um, you can also go for the novelty base. Here, let's get out of here. There you can have the mixed base, or you can go for the novelty base. You also have your choice of just, just purchasing alphas, mods, and TKL mixed. And let's see what else we have here. A couple desk mats. See that? And one thing that really caught my eye about the set is this guy right here. Look at that. Look at that knob. That's so cool. I feel like you would really need to buy this set for a board that you have a rotary encoder on, otherwise this would be just a missed opportunity. But yeah, 79 bucks for the base kit. Um, if you really wanted to go all in, buy all of these artisans, all these dust mats, and every single kit, you are looking at a grand total of about 900 bucks. 
However, you do have a small discount. If you really wanted to go all in, you could go alphas, uh, novelty mods, yellow accents, cookies, and buttons, and you would save about $15 off your total purchase. So look, 135 bucks. So not bad, not bad. But yeah, if you wanted to buy, to, 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 to go all in, buy all the dust mats, all the kits, all of the knobs, you're looking at about 900 bucks. And yeah, this one, this one's a little earlier than most. This one's expected to deliver to you the customer of Q3 2022. So about a quarter earlier than GMK and, and SA. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This one ends on the 9th. Check it out, check it out. The next key set that is expiring, or in the last one that I know of this week, is GMK Matsu. All the way on Switch Mod, you have a GMK key set starting at $140 for the base kit. In fact, there's only three kits in this key set. You've got base, you've got space bars, and you've got novelties. So all in all, all in all for this, you're looking to be spending 245 bucks to go all in. And the estimated time of delivery is Q4 2022, you know, possibly Q1 2023, right? Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool looking set if you ask me. See any other renders here? Nope, no other renders that I can see. Yeah, check it out. Here, here we go. Dust mat group by. You also have moon, a moon dust mat, and the no moon dust mat. Yeah, check it out. You guys are interested. This one expires on the tenth on Friday. Jaza says no dust mat. This I just covered dust mats, but yeah, you guys can check it out there. Okay, so out of all of these guys, just as a quick run through, you've got GMK Tiramisu, you've got GMK Dracula, SA Geoma, Cam Sewington, GMK Matsu. Out of these five, which ones are you guys most interested in? I'd like to hear from the audience here. So yeah, if I were to choose between these, um, honestly speaking, GMK Matsu is probably the color scheme that I like the best, but, but GMK Dracula V 2.0, I am also super interested in, in the Git core here. Like, I don't like the color so much, but I like, I like the Git theme, you know, so I would really, I'd, I'd probably go for this as well if I had all the money. But if I only had to pick one, I'd go with GMK Matsu. Um, I thought I would like GMK Tiramisu more, but the brown, the brown looks kind of... It, it's not the right brown that I like. I don't know how to describe it any more than that. All the other ones, like you guys know that I don't like SA. Um, don't really like Cam too much either. But yeah, it's going to have to be GMK Matsu. Yeah, let's talk about keyboards that are expiring this week. Here we go. This one is the NCR80 for $79.99. Check it out, guys. If you're into the vintage aesthetic but want a more modern twist, check it out. NCR80 plastic injected housing with cool gray or vintage beige. This is a TKL win keyless layout, has USB C port. QMK and VIA support, all that. Here, let me show you. ANSI support only. There we go. But look at that. That is a very classic looking key set. Let's see, anything else here? Um, you can, the $79.99, but you do have options to increase the price if you, if you so desire. You can also go for a hot swappable kit with carbon fiber plate. Let's see. Or you can, 
just buy the housing. If you already have a TKL that would fit here, that would be pretty awesome. Ships from China expected to deliver to you the customer Q1 2022. So not bad, not bad for $79.99 expires on the 7th two days from now and will only cost you $79.99 plus shipping of course shipping from China so check it out check it out if you so desire this next item that is expiring all the way on Kiko's lab the Elora 65 here let's look at the base kit yeah so you can buy here I guess I'll talk about it you can buy several variants of this kit. You can go for the ba for the base kit, which just starts at 425. You can get the Cerakoted Special, which comes in three colors, but a little bit more expensive, $100 more expensive. But if you had gotten in on this way earlier, you would have had the option to buy the Brass Edition for $750. But here, we'll just show off the base one right here. Uh, $425, you have your choice between black, snow, graphite, forest, ruby, amethyst, navy, baby blue, baby girl pink, and polycarb. Polycarb is a little bit more expensive. Um, Laura 65, some of its features are it's got this leftmost macro column along with an encoder knob. And if you look at the very right hand side there, let's see if I can... Nope, here we go. Let's just click there. That is a vertical positioned OLED screen. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is probably one of the more unique 65s that you'll see this year. So just a quick, let's see. Uh, comes with a carrying case, so that's good. But this is expected to deliver Q2 or Q3 of 2022. Here, let's go look at the Cerakoted editions as well. That for 525, yeah, this is only three different colors. It's a boy, perplexed, and island green. Check it out. Let's see, and if you are so interested, you know, you can't get this anymore, but here's the all brass version for about $770. Look at that, quite the chonker right there. <laughs> and of course, you can also get just PCBs or the switch plate. But look, PCB. There's the PCB right there. Encoder knob. I believe those four four pins on the top right are is where the OLED connects. Pretty cool. Anyway, if you guys wanted to join all of the group buys that I just talked about, everything starting from G from GMK Tiramisu all the way till till the Alora 65, buy every single kit in a key set, desk mats, artisans, buy the top end of the keyboards and all that, you are looking to be spending. Let's see. Today's this week's grand total is $3,779. If you want to get all in on every group buy that I just talked about that's ending, that's $3,779. Don't forget that does not include shipping, taxes, or applicable customs fees. So we're looking more at possibly mid 4,000s. I would say that the average weekly spend is 2,000, right? Um, I would say you need at least 100k to have bought everything this year. At least. At least $100,000. US dollars. And that does not include shipping, taxes, or customs. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. So all the missed group buys are not ex exactly expiring this week, but they did start last week. The very first item that I missed is expiring on December 20th. So we have quite a lot of time for this. This is Melgeek MG Horseman. Check it out. Kind of kind of looks like Tiramisu, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, you have several base kits available, A, B, and C, each for $79.99, as you guys can see right there. They're kind of kind of like Tiramisu, if you ask me. <laughs> Do that. Look at that. And $79.99 for the base. 
Of course, if you want to buy all of them, that's going to set you back 240 bucks. And they are expecting to deliver to you, the customer, in Q1 of 2022. So oh, yeah, um, if you're wanting to give MG a try, don't want to wait too long, don't want to spend too much, this might be one you could consider. Look at that. Also gives you a bunch of GMK um, Amazing Chocolatier vibes as well. But yeah, if you guys don't know what MG is like, here's a nice little diagram that I like to show, and they like to show off as well. So see all that? Think of MG as a shorter SA. So if you like how SA feels, but feel like it's too tall for you, MG might be for you. I've tried MG, it's it's still not for me though. But yeah, check it out. You guys have until December 20th to decide if you like it or not. Speaking of SA, the next key set that is expiring, and one that I missed, expires on the 24th, and this one is Damiki Tiger. DMK Tiger right there. This is an SA Profile key set. Look at that, you've got several base kit options as well. You got the base W or the base Y, a couple kits underneath that for alphas. Check it out, Tigers as well for novelties color accents and tail as I guess I guess these are space bars and of course if you really wanted to you could buy all of these in in much larger kit forms and get a small discount so that makes it easier so you don't have to like add every single kit this one base kit starts at 109 and they are expecting to deliver to you the customer in March of 2022, not bad. Need those Tiger Woods novelties. <laughs> so when I first saw this, um, I immediately thought of S.A. Strong Spirit. Not sure if you guys see that as well, but this, this really reminded me of S.A. Strong Spirit. So yeah, this one you guys have until the 24th to make your decision. Got some time. Like, I do think it's a good idea to, like, encourage people to, to, to buy more kits because if more people buy the smaller kits, MOQs can be met. So by bundling the kits into a cheaper package, this does improve the entire group buy. So I think it's a good idea. I think every vendor should do it if they can, especially if it's a struggling kit, I'd say. But yeah, check it out. You guys have until the 24th. This next one caught me by surprise. Did not expect it to happen so soon. But this one is expiring on the 31st. There we go. This one is GMK Olive round two. But yeah, um, if you guys have heard of GMK Olivia. This is Olivia's second key set for, for the community, GMK Olive. I suspect she's trying to, to make every key set kind of like a play on her name. I was joking with her that she should try and make a, a, a set called GMK Olivia Vetti. This is a play on Olivetti. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, not sure if she'll take my, um, ideas on that one <laughs> yeah olive looks really good you know what um i have a keyboard which this looks amazing on let me pull it out for people to see and it's on one it's on my skog reboot check it out look at that gmk olive round one on my desert skog reboot check it out Looks really good. I feel like this is probably the best colored board that GMK Olive works best on. So it looks so nice. Did that? It looks pretty good, right? Mm 
Yeah, so I figured I'd just keep it like this. Like, I can't really think of another board in my collection that GMK Olive would look so well on. But this gray back is just so amazing. Like, I, I guess it's, well, they, they call it desert. So it's like a sandy, sandy, brownish gray of sorts. Works so well with GMK Olive. Look at that. So I only have the light base. I'm actually definitely considering the darker base or or the darker alphas for this next round. Yeah, give me a moment. Let me put it away again. Base kit starts at check, check this out, guys. Base kit, pretty much some of the common layouts up to full size starts at $99. This is probably one of the cheapest GMK sets that, that we've talked about this year that that was starting this year. And you know, because it is GMK, we are looking at ETA of Q1 2023. But yeah, of course, there are other kits associated. Noir for 99, ISO, extension, novelties, space bars, and two artisans. Look at that. Hebe Enter and Hebe R1. Very cool. Check it out. Check it out if you guys are interested. This one you have literally until the last day of the year. So the last key set that I missed, this one you have until January 9th. It's such a long, long time. Here, all the way on the Kono store, you have SA Calculator by Signature Plastics. So if you wanted to get, what? If you wanted to get a base kit of sorts, you're looking at about $170, which is really pricey. But granted, it's Kono. Everything on Kono tends to be pricier than most. You have other kits, Numpad, ASCII, Novelty, Spacebar is 40, and of course, the Artisan for 50 bucks. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. But yeah, this one, this one is expiring January 9th. We have so much time. And their estimated shipping time is Q1 of 2023. Yeah, so much time to, to get in on this if you, if you like it. January 9th, that's literally next year, and it will it will deliver the following year. Alright, so I did miss one keyboard from last week as well. This one, this one I completely completely caught me off guard. I had not seen it anywhere at all other than on on the Kono store. But here, check this out, guys. This is the Go Ace 68. Look at that. If you're looking for another 68 key keyboard. You want it all metal, this might be the board to go for. You're looking at 249 bucks to join in on this. And it has a delivery date of Q1 2022. You have your choice between aluminum plate or a polycarb plate. But yeah, completely caught me off guard. Um, I was like, huh? Who made this? How come I've never heard of this one before? It's here. Let's go look at some of the specs here. 6063 case material, so it's the good stuff, right? <laughs> it's gasket mounted, paron, dampening pad between plate and PCB, high profile, six degree typing angle, um, QMK and VIA supported. Like they even have sound test videos already. What else? Items included. Oh, too bad they don't have a, a carrying case of sorts. Oh well. But yeah, look. Uh, one thing I really like about this this design is that that yellow outline going around each of them. So I like that not just because it's yellow, but I think I think that just looks cool. So it, it, it could be blue, it could be black, just whatever. That's, I just like how there's that outline around it. But yeah, this one closes d January 7th. This one's another one that you can think about buying and it's delivering of Q1 2022 yeah 250 bucks for this 250 bucks like I'd say this is probably the competitor to the icky 68 with like a metal top right in terms of what they both offer but the icky 68 also comes with a nice case so my 
my gut feeling here, my gut feeling is that the Icky 68 will still sound and feel better, but this board does look good. Look at that, see, you've got the plate foam, you've got the plate, the PCB. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, it even comes with stabilizers apparently. Okay, so I'm just seeing here, here on the back here, it says Hello World. So, um, Hello World is a, you know, when, when you're first learning how to program, more often than not, the first program that you write is basically a program that prints out the word, with the words, Hello World. So I, I think this is a play on that, <laughs> that Hello World. I would have preferred that it wasn't on the, on the weight like that. I, I kind of think that's a bit tacky, but anyway. If you guys are interested, you have until January 7th of 2022 to make your decision. And this board costs 249 bucks. Delivery, Q1 2022. So, what? You could buy it on the 7th and expect it hopefully in two months. So yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. That's like, that's not a bad deal at all. But yeah, let's talk about in-stock stuff. Pretty much everything I've mentioned today so far has been delivering in a year or in the case of the A68, two months. But what if you want to buy something right now and get it maybe in a week, right? Um, the website I use to gather all this information is stockstock.com. If you're ever wondering if there's something in stock you can buy right now, definitely check them out. They're are categorized from keyboards all the way to switch modifications. So just pick and choose whichever you guys want. I do want to highlight three things that have caught my attention. Yeah, the first item that I was super curious about is this. The Nano Slider from Keyboard. Check that out. You know, we've seen rotary encoders, but it's not very often that we see a slider on our keyboards. Check it out. Look at that. Very pretty. This one is currently in stock. Come on, customize. There we go. You can choose case colors, base colors, knob colors, and you can even choose the switches. Here, let's just add to cart. Oh, I actually have to choose. Here, let's do silver. There we go, 99 euro. That's really cheap. That's not bad at all. I was expecting a little more. Yeah, that's about a, uh, what's 99 euro? Like 120 bucks or something like that. See, so you can, you can position this either way you want. If you want it vertically or you want it horizontally, whichever way works for you. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. 120 bucks, 99 euro. Check it out if you guys are interested. Speaking of keyboard.com, the next item is also going to be on their website. Um, what drew my attention to it is that because, you know, as many of you know, I joined the Vega group by, and like many others, I'm still waiting for my Vega. So if you're like me waiting for your Vega, you can consider the Mega. <laughs> The Mega is also a 65% keyboard. This one doesn't have a blocker though. It's just your generic um, 65 all crunched up layout going for 235 euro. That's what? That's about 280 US dollars. I think that's 280. No, that's 260 US dollars. The IO3 says shipping starts in two weeks. Will it get to me by the end of the year? Maybe. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the Mega. Um, Hotswap PCB has QMK and VIA compatibility, all metal construction. You guys can see all that. <laughs> LEDs, what? Yes, three. Oh, interesting. Look at that. The indicator LEDs are on the on the side, huh? Would that even be visible? Well, I, I guess it's visible if you if you have underglow LEDs. So that that should be visible too. That's really weird. Do, do you guys think this would be visible? Like if you're operating your keyboard like normal, like here, here. Okay, so technically it would be on the side there. So 
If if I have both my hands there, there's a chance that I'd be blocking it. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully that that works as as intended. Yeah, like these are all the colors that are available. Very nice. The last item I'd like to draw your guys' attention to. Here we go. JTK Suited Assassin. For $95 at TKC, you can get the base kit. If you so desire, you can also get triple shot alphas, which oh, unfortunately already sold out. But the space bars are still there. Novelties are sold out. But the bundle is still there. Interesting. Okay. Okay, very cool. Very cool. 170 bucks. So that's good. Base set for 95. ABS double shot. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. I might pick up a set myself. I could use more ABS key sets. The cream is brighter than those renders. Oh, really? There you go. Check it out. Check it out if you guys are interested. Let's move on to starting group buys. The first item that we're having to talk about, I featured on my interest check videos and also something I need to pause when I say it. <laughs> I have to be careful how I say this, but this is GMK Hunt. <laughs> yeah, this one is a starting group by going live today, actually here. If it's today, maybe I should just click on the actual vendor link here. Here we go, GMK Hunt. We are $139.99 for the base kit. Check it out, guys. Now, honestly, his vendors on GMK looked, looked nicer than this. Yeah, you've also got the green alphas, got wildlife novelties, tracking, rifles for the space bars, forest dust mat, paw pattern dust mat, and burned home Salvin Artisan. Pretty cool. Kind of kind of more on the expensive side in terms of GMK sets, especially since this this episode we talked about a $99 set. Now we're talking about a $139, $99 set. Like most GMK sets, we are expecting this to be Q1 of 2023, but death mats are actually Q2 of 2022. Artisans are still TBD. Um, I already have two green sets since I've talked about this, so my excitement for it has kind of waned. I still like it, I still like it, but I'm not so into it anymore. Yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This one just started. All right, next set that is starting is an EPBT set. This one is scheduled to start December 6th. EPBT Fall. Look at that. EPBT Fall, basically a gradient colorway. Do that. This one starts with the base kit of $95. Oh look, so not only do the modifiers change colors, but the legends, the colors of the legends also change. Pretty interesting. See, this one starts on the 6th. I don't know when it runs till yet. But look at that. Oh, look at these novelties. That's really neat. I like how they also like have have that gradient. Cool dust mats. There we go. Nice renders here on the Alora, which which is expiring this week as well. That's pretty cool. I think if you're gonna run like a key set, you should try and figure out what boards are running the same time as your key set or what what boards have been recently delivered because if you can somehow predict that or, or like figure that out and just do the renders like that people i think people are more likely to get in on your set look at that looks pretty nice if you ask me I do think though that if you put it on a TKL, this very top row, this afro kind of ruins the gradient look. 
Look, to me, it looks better on like a 65 or like a 60. But yeah, look, if you don't like any of those gradient full colored modifiers, you could go with just the legends here. There we go. Base kit 95, alternate mods 45, 55 for 40s, international 20, space bars 10, novelties 29. It's going to be available on KD fans, Vala, Vala Supply, Dust Hero, Prototypist, My Keyboard, Design Studios, and Daily Clack. A couple collabs as well going on here. Another item that is starting on the 6th is a GMK set called GMK Power Cord. So, um, this is a set that really preys on my color blindness, because when I look at this, like, I've been told this is Purple Legends. I can barely see this. So to me... To me, this sucks. <laughs> to me, this sucks. Like, I can see the green, but the purple on, on the alphas, that's uh, no-go for me. Can't see it at all. <laughs> As someone who's colorblind, you can barely see it either here. Let me let me expand it for like everyone here. Yeah, this one, like, I can see the green on the black. I kind of like that. But uh, this is this, this is really hard for me to see. Uh, but apparently, if you don't want Japanese sub-legends, some hir hiragana base or hiragana sub-legends, you can go for the Latin base kits, which do not have it. Let's see, boosted novelties. Cool. Music Novelties Kit. This one I can see. Oh look, there's a keyboard or a piano on your entry key. That's cool. Drums, electric guitar, bass, drive, drive us crazy. <laughs> Accent kits right there. Extension kits. Here, let's look at a couple more vendors. There it is on Jane. Cool, cool, cool. On an i69. F18X. Yeah, I don't really know what to comment on this set, because I can barely see it. I, I can't... I, I, I can't see it. <laughs> there, let's find another one. Koyu. Dust mats. There we go. Speed Signature, Lightning, Techno, couple Artisan collabs right there. That one looks pretty cool. I don't know what that symbol means, but it looks pretty cool. What is that, a lightsaber? No, wait, it's a glow-in-the-dark pen light for the band fans. Ah, okay. There we go, Thok Artisan. Ooh, shiny. Acero Foundry, and looks like pricing is already mentioned. 136 for either the Hiragana or the Latin base kit. Everything else is 60 or under. Good prices, and looks like it's available on Mex and Co, Dust Hero, Prototypist, My Keyboard, Daily Clack, Hex Keyboard, Zion Studio, Z Frontier. Yep. And starting on the 6th, ending on January 7th. So yeah, check it out if you guys are are interested. Let's see. The last key set that I know of that's starting is another EPBT set. This one is starting this this coming Saturday on the 11th. This is EPBT Yukihana. There we go. Prices are 95 for either the Hiragana or Latin base, 29 for novelties. Artisans are 42, but you know, I'm not colorblind to this, but this is hard to see. This is pretty hard to see. <laughs> the white on light blue, or the light blue on white is kind of aggravating to my to my eyes. <laughs> but this will be available on KBD fans, Mekibo, Candy Keys, Prototypist, Dust Hero, TikTok, and Daily Clack. Look at that. Yeah, that's I kind of have to squint to see it. But yeah, I like blue. I like blue. I just don't know if I can really appreciate this. <laughs> I think 
what should have been done is, do you guys see the accents for the escape key, enter key? I think that should have been the primary color and the accent would have been the lighter blue, just for visibility's sake, but probably not a good match for, for the theme. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have been more into this if it was the darker blue of the accent. There we go. You kind of like it, but something is slightly off, says Fit Lab. Go space, space bars, 40s, the collaborations. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> Yukihana Artisans. Here, let's go look at the renders. Aw, such a wintry themed set. Looks good. Oh, that is hard to see. I can barely see those legends on alphas or on the mods. My gosh. Yeah, hopefully the real thing will look better, will be easier to to be to be read, um, more more legible. Look at that. Cool. Leave Vitalized Redeemed Hydrate. I don't have too much left, and now it's cold. It's no longer hot tea. It's now room temperature tea. Room temperature tea. But man, I'm... Huh, it's easier to read this one. Yeah, I think these last two renders seem to be more legible than, than these, than, than the earlier ones. Like, this one's really hard to read. But this one seems to work better. Like this one I can actually read. <clears throat> anyway, as far as I know, that one is starting on the 11th. So you guys have some time before it starts. Base kit, 95 bucks. And all the other kits and artisans under 60. Yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Out of these four starting key sets, which ones are you, are you guys most interested in? Once again, that is GMK Hunt, um, EPBT Fall. Here, let's get a good picture right there. EPBT Fall, GMK Power Cord, and EPBT Yukihana. Which of these four are you guys most interested in? Um, honestly speaking, these four, like none of these four are really appealing to me, to be honest. Yeah, like, I think the one that would appeal to me the most is going to be EPBT Fall. But even then, it's not... It doesn't really make me want to buy it. This is kind of like the one that if there were no other key set group buys that were running and I had to pick one, it would be this. Like earlier, I mentioned that I liked Hunt, but... I don't know, now that I have actual green sets, it's not as appealing to me anymore. The hunt is too similar to camping. Exactly. I'm actually getting in on, on like camping as well. So which is why I'm not so excited about this anymore. <laughs> the first keyboard that is starting this week is starting on the 6th. Now this one is probably, well, you know, now that since I have a Monike board on my desk, I figured it's appropriate that we're talking about this. But this is the Monike Hero. There you go, the Monoke Hero. This one is a 65%. I think this is their first 65%. So if you're looking at this right right now, here, it's going to be basically this, but in 65 form factor. That looks really good. I'm actually very impressed by the K. It's a very good feeling, good typing board. Yeah, so I'm fully expecting that the Hero will be of the same caliber. Will feel just as good, sound just as good. So yeah, but this one, this is a expensive keyboard. There, let's look at it. Um, the sale will run from the 6th of, of December till December 27th. Delivery ETA Q4 2022. So pretty much just as long as some key sets. Um, 
Like their other group buys, they usually separate those into standard and SE special edition kit. The standard kit comes in pink, green, purple, blue, gray, and silver. And the SE kit comes with brass top and bottom. Bounty Hunter PVD finish with brass plate. Ooh, very nice. And these are the prices that we're looking at. These are all Singaporean dollars. So $580 is roughly 400-ish, I believe. And 700 Singaporean dollars is roughly, you know what? I'll just do the calculations. 710 SGD to USD is roughly 518 bucks and 1180 Singaporean dollars is roughly 850 bucks. So yeah, a fairly expensive board. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, this is a first come first serve group buy. This is a group buy that runs from the 6th this coming Tuesday all the way till the 27th or if the human limit is reached. What that human limit is, we have no idea. The next board that is starting is occurring the day after. This one is the CWTKLs. Yeah, look at that. This is a very expensive board here. Just look at this. Look at this price right here. So 88 key is gonna be the TKL with F13 and 87. It's just gonna be like the regular TKL with like F12. But look at this, unbuilt weight, approximately six pounds. Um, price is going to be 490 to 605. I'm assuming the 605 is the TKL price. And oh my, oh my, like honestly, from what I've seen and heard, this is a great board, but just looking at it right now, it's not very aesthetic to me. Be honest and plus this logo right here doesn't seem doesn't seem very elegant to me <laughs> newton apple subscribe with prime thank you very much subscribe for six months great yeah it's not very not very pretty to me to be honest all right that's the 60 percent. let's keep looking at the tkl here now you really have to like the board to spend 600 on it right so yeah, I would encourage you all to look at the typing tests and some of the builds that this board has before investing your $600 because this is quite a hefty investment. But yeah, this is a group buy that starts on the 7th, the day after the Monike. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, compared to Mr. Suit around $400, it is very weak. I would agree with you on that, actually. Yeah, considering there are other boards that are cheaper than look better there is a valid argument to make when deciding between this over those yeah, as far as i know those are the only two keyboards that are expiring this week now, as usual i miss a lot of things so i'm going to rely on you guys to help me now um, we are now transitioning into the group buys from the audience segment yeah, if it's your first time here and you don't know what this is um I'm posting a couple commands in chat, but the bot is taking a while, so it's not actually doing anything. But basically, whisper me any group by keyword group by that you think I missed that's either starting or ending this week. Please do include a context, a start, end date, a link, and anything to pay attention to. Let me, I think I just used the wrong command, but there we go. There we go. There it is. Whisper it to me in Twitch and we'll go through them. I see what it is now. It's not MX, that's why. But here, this is from FitLab. Here we go. Very interesting looking board. This is the creator board for $409. This is using the Kale Chalk Low Profile Switches. So yeah, look at this. Um, not too many key sets out for something like this, but if you're really looking for as low profile as you can, as thin as you can, and you do want ortholinear with a bunch of knobs, do consider this. I will have to say though that it's $409, so that's that's super pricey. Super pricey for a board that's kind of out there, if you know what I mean. But yeah, thank you very much FitLab for sending this my way. 
SA Metaverse. Check it out. Ends in about 28 days. Completely missed this. 140 bucks for the base kit and for the Gaijin set as well. Novelties are 45. Numpad 30, ortho kit 65, space bars for 15. Um, probably a year delivery, but drop. Here we go. August 9th, 2023. That's Q3. Q3 2023. Holy cow. <laughs> Q3 2023. It's a long delivery date. But if you really want Metaverse and you wanted an essay profile, this is it. A switch from Tataimo. ALS switch group by. Why is it called ALS? Just another linear switch. Okay. ALS is also a very deadly a very deadly disease. So, yeah, kind of funny how they called it that. Yeah, this one's nylon bottom, milky top, and linear. What's the stem made of? Doesn't really tell you. Okay, look at that. Pink stem, white housing. Yeah, this one according to Tataimo is... It started on November 29th and is ending December 13th. So I, I guess I did miss it so we can cover it. The 380 for a pack of 10. Very cool. Okay. This one is SP Star Vanilla, which is apparently a recolor of SP Star Meteors, but with 62G Spring. Started on November 17th, but missed. Open until stock lasts. Let's paste that in chat. Uh, here we go. Pickup available at Waterloo. Where's Waterloo? Let's see linear palm stem nylon housing 62g gold plated spring looks like a nice colored switch if it's in stock i wonder why they didn't have like an actual picture of it i just want to see if it's as close to this color as possible alander redeemed hydrate i'm sorry but my drink is all gone i drank it before it got too cold homie zone says this is 60 cents a switch cool thank you very much homie zoned so Dusk and Skidata, which was a set that was supposed to have expired last week, is now ending in three hours. So yeah, check it out if you guys are are interested. There's that. So thank you very much, Son of Ares. Apparently this is an extra set, JTK Tian One. Uh includes three JTK standard cases. Okay, that's cool. But $155, that is, that is pricey. Huh, okay. Cool. Let's put that in chat. I wonder if you can buy the accompanying B-Box case. I've been really liking my B-Box case, actually. Here, let's see if it's still available. Because I wouldn't mind buying one. Yes, it's available. Okay, okay, okay. So I just have to show you guys this. I know we're kind of going over time here, but I just, wanna, just wanted to show it to you guys. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. It's not really like a case that I use, but I I bought it primarily for, for the aesthetics. <laughs> I got the Commodore 64 one, but there we go. See, there it is. Yeah, I put S.A. Amazing Chocolate here on that. I think it just matched really well with the aesthetic. But yeah, this is a very... It's kind of a loud keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Yeah, now I'm very curious about this set. It's only... Well, $45 seems kind of pricey. I remember buying this for... Maybe 30 bucks? Or less? But yeah, okay, that's something to think about. But thank you, Happy Bot, for sending this my way. Might be something fun to buy. Something fun to buy. So thank you, Happy Bot. 
this one's very interesting. Okay. This one's from Tataimo again. This is the Team Wolf Stainless Steel Alpha Set Keycaps. For 90 bucks. If you've been wanting to try what um, metal keycaps are like, check it out. Check it out. You, you might be surprised. Um, just keep in mind that if you live in a colder climate, these, these caps will feel cold to the touch as you're typing on them. But yeah. 90 bucks. Not, not exactly GMK or custom key set, but it is fairly cool. Hey, thank you very much, Tataimo. Where was it? Oh, you're right. It is MCR. I immediately just thought MG. But yeah, that does look like Cherry Profile. Now that I look at it. Here, let's look at that chart again. Yeah, you're right. It does look similar. It does look similar to Cherry Profile. Let's see, what's the difference? 9mm and 4.6. So it's a taller cherry profile with a little weirder top. There we go. This one is the Think 6.5 V2 Solder Flex PCB. Um, still going on group by. Let's see, ending on the 6th, which is in roughly two days. So yeah, if you felt that your Think 6.5 wasn't flexy enough, check this out. I, in fact, have one of these on their way to me. Um, thankfully, I had a 1U blockered layout because the prototypes are only 1U. Um, it was sent to me last Friday, so given the, given the nature of shipping here right now, it will probably get to me by Friday, so it might not even... <laughs> it might not even get to me before the end of the group line. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. This is Space Invader 60% PCB. It's so weird. If you guys don't know what Space Invader switches are, they, um, they're they basically called Space Invaders because when you take off the keycap, they look like Space Invaders. Um, here, let's see if they have any pictures of it here. You know what? I'll just Google it. Space Invader Switches. There you go. Death Authority Space Invader Switches. Very interesting. So yeah, if for some reason you've been wanting a Space Invader keyboard and happen to have a bunch of these desoldered from an existing board, um, this might be the 60 that you've been waiting for. Like honestly, I I don't know I, I don't know anyone who just has a bunch of these laying around. <laughs> like I feel like this is the first PCB which would allow you to do this. So everyone who has a Space Invader switch probably still has it soldered on the original board. So this is this is interesting. This is very interesting. So thank you very much, Arcerill. There we go. This one is called the Memento. There we go. For $615? Wow, that is pricey. They're limited to 100 pieces at pre-order. <laughs> Excuse me. Why is it so expensive? Oh, sterling silver aluminum base? Oh, okay. Um... Rainbow PVD stainless steel backplate, EK60 PCB, okay, estimated ship date late summer 2022. Is this just expensive because of the materials? Seems like it. Ooh, look at that base, that does look pretty. Their pricing has always been crazy. Would you say their pricing has been an enigma?
Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, check this out. Apparently, it's starting on the 11th and limited to 100 units. So, first come, first serve. Levi says, How do I unsub? <laughs> yeah, lots of puns tonight. Expect more the more you watch the show. <laughs> So yeah, this is wow. This is more expensive than than the Mono KK, I believe, in in its base form. But yeah, thank you very much, Newly. See, I don't see anyone else whispering me. I think this is a good time to end the stream. But yeah. My next stream will be this coming Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. PDT. It won't be an unboxing, it'll be a build. I will be building the Emery 65, an upcoming 65% gasket mount keyboard. Um, if, you do, if you guys joined the unboxing a few weeks ago, um, it comes with a soldered Yankar 65% PCV, but I discovered that you could also put the Neo Keys G67 Element hot soft. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I also have an iron 165 PCB, so I think I'm just going to test that as well, but this might be a keyboard that supports multiple PCBs. And the funny thing is, um, I talked with the Emery 65 runner. Um, it wasn't intended, but I guess it's a happy coincidence, right? <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for joining in. Hope you guys have a good start to your week, and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone.